Starting 1 January, traffic offenders in Zimbabwe will pay up to $700 for offenses such as speeding, drinking and driving, overloading their vehicle, or driving without a license. The previous maximum fine was just $30. President Emerson Mnangagwa's government says the fines, in addition to raising government revenue, will make driving safer. Critics say the move is a desperate measure to squeeze money from an already overburdened citizenry. Motorists in Zimbabwe officially drive on the left of the road, but they joke that these days they drive on what is left of the road. This driver says money from the fines should be used for road repairs. Roads in Zimbabwe are now useless. They want to fine us. We pay tax, but they are doing nothing. Now they're increasing fines to as much as $700. Where will that money go to? All roads are full of potholes. Not every citizen is against the increased fines. I think maybe the responsible authority have got views. Maybe they want to ensure that the roads are going to be uh, okay. So they are going to do something to make sure that the roads are okay. So let's just give them time. According to the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe, major causes of road accidents are speeding and lack of discipline. The government agents welcomes the new traffic fines, but... It's not only the fines when you look at road safety. So <laughs> there are a lot of other instruments we can actually use. But you also have got to bring in uh, education. You also have got to bring in, like what you have said, uh, road with uh, vehicles. And you are saying this is a good start. The government says it is embarking on a program of fixing and expanding roads, which over the years have become death traps due to severe neglect. Columbus Mavunga for viewing news. Harare.